Hi guys. Today I'm going to show you how you can paint the tips of the waterfall to make it look like a realistic waterfall. You know how it has that white coming down on the waterfall that kind of like is that foamy water. Well, that's what we're going to do. And what you're going to do is you're going to get yourself some acrylic and you are going to barely put any on your paintbrush. Just a teeny tiny bit. Okay, now you just kind of want to very lightly hit the peaks. and it just very lightly hits it. Now, you can also use a little bit of pearl if you like, or you can continue with um, some white. It's totally up to you. I mean, it depends on how much white you want yours to have. Now, you don't want to see brush strokes, so if you get brush strokes, just kind of like tap them out with your finger. And then for the top, what I did here was I just added a little bit of white paint going down, like toward the bottom, as if it was running. Just a little bit, not a lot, because you don't want to overdo it. And again, you want to do the same thing here. Just a tiny bit, just to kind of give it that foamy feel. Now just give it a tiny bit. Now I'm just using my finger to kind of blot it a little bit because I've got too much on this brush. Okay. And you're going to do the same exact thing we just did there right along here. Hit them peaks. All right, we'll let the water just look like it's a little foamy. You don't need a lot of it, you just want to have it colored just enough so it looks like it's a little bit of water there. And I know I sound repetitive, but that's exactly what you want to do. All right. Now I'll do the same thing to the waterfall at the top, but if you can see it, now it looks a little bit more um, two-dimensional or three-dimensional. All right, again, just kind of hit those peaks. You need to get a little bit more paint on the brush. Sorry, didn't realize I was not having it pointing it there. Okay, and down here the water is coming, so you may want to just kind of add a little bit there because I've got to add a little bit more woodland scenic, um, realistic water on there. Okay. 
get a little bit more paint. Kind of blot it with my finger so you don't see the brush strokes. Get a little bit up in here. So it looks like foam. And that's pretty much it. Now, if your water was to circle around in a certain spot, you could put some there. I'm not going to do it because I don't want to overdo it yet until I know how the water is going to lay when I add the rest of the water to it because I still have to add more water down inside of this. All right. So that's it for this tutorial, and hopefully that was helpful, and I'll see you next time. Okay guys, well that was it for this video. We are still working on some minor things with the dollhouse. We have a little bit more to go. However, if you subscribe below, we will post the images or the videos as we do it so that you can see how the progress goes. Also, if you subscribe, we'll have the tutorials that we'll post as well and you'll be able to see them. And we plan on making some furniture and a few other DIYs so you don't want to miss that and also if you go on our Facebook page under Dollhouse Miniature Madness and Tutorials you will be able to find lots and lots of pictures of everything that we've done along with a few other things and then you know you can comment there or you can comment below if you have any questions you're more than welcome to leave them and we will get to them as soon as we can but other than that we're going to continue working on this miniature madness because we're having a ball. And thanks for watching and have a great day.